Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket Nano 2TB Rugged Portable NVMe Drive. Now, this retails for a little over $300 US dollars. Sabrent just shipped this over for review, and I'm excited to share it with all of you because it essentially builds on what is already, in my opinion, one of the best portable drives on the market. So, the original Rocket Nano that I reviewed uh, last year, incredibly small but still very fast and affordable, has now been given an IP67 rating. So that means that this guy can be submerged in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes, but that's fresh water to be clear. It can also take a drop from a meter, that's for those of you uh, that need the conversion, a little over three feet, and survive. And of course it has dust resistance. And when it comes to competing products, SanDisk makes something similar, but to my knowledge, it is more expensive and not as solid because I think their rating is IP55. So that's why this is impressive to me. Now I've already gone over the features up to a thousand megabytes uh, on the read and write, which again equates to nearly a gig, which is where USB 3.2 uh, tops out without going to Thunderbolt 3, of course, that is over Type-C connection. Uh, and then you've got, uh, in terms of the contents, it comes with the drive, a Type-C cable, and then a Type-C to Type-A cable. And of course, this is compatible with both Windows and Mac. So let's get this thing out of the packaging and uh, see what we're working with. And again, it is an impressive piece of kit. And I say that simply because I already know what to expect with performance because I've already gone through uh, performance with the regular Nano. And overall, the entire rocket line that Sabrent makes is pretty much the same when it comes to what it's capable of, and that's why they share the rocket branding. And there it is. I believe this thing is literally two ounces, uh, which, again, how much smaller could you make a rugged two terabyte NVMe drive? Uh, crazy. Complete craziness. Um, it, you know, it's... I thought this one was cool, but now we've got the, the beefed up version that actually can take a beating. And not that you want to give this a beating, I'm not suggesting that, but the fact that this can actually go places that you don't want to try taking this uh, is really impressive. So who's this good for? Well, those of you that just want to make sure that your content is protected to the highest degree, that's where this kicks in. But Anyone who is doing anything outdoors near, again, fresh water, or this is the type of drive you want to have only because you know you have that extra layer level of protection. And, you know, this rubber exterior seems like it could probably be removed, uh, but that's just one element, obviously, of the IP67 rating. Let's see what else we have in here. I mean, I already said what's going to be in the box, and... Again, Sabrent also with their packaging, no one else does it like them. You're not going to get even the quality of packaging that Sabrent puts together. So I always appreciate that from any manufacturer. And then we've got the cables I just mentioned. So we've got a USB uh, 3.2, uh, which is a Type-C to Type-C right here, and then a Type-C to Type-A for those of you that need it. So they're covering all the bases in terms of what you're going to need to actually utilize this drive uh, as well. So again, I, I will be testing this. Uh, I'm gonna see how it performs, but I know what to expect. I'm expecting that we're going to see nearly a gigabyte a second. And the fact that it's so small, the fact that I know it can take a beating, and I'm not gonna you know, drive my car over it, but this is perfect for those of you, uh, if you're, you know, photographers that uh, are traveling constantly and you want to make sure that your still or video content, again, is as protected as possible. This is going to be pretty much perfect, it seems. Also, if you are recording directly off of uh, those of you out there that know you need to record straight to NVMe drives, SSDs, this also seems like it would be a great option. I don't know why uh, you wouldn't want to use something like this. I mean, granted, if it starts to rain, you've got to be worried about the camera gear, but it's nice to know that you're not going to have to worry about this uh, because it is waterproof, as I mentioned. Again, 30 minutes, one meter of depth, but that's still, that's one more meter and 30 more minutes 
than any other drive on the market. Now, I mentioned SanDisk makes something like this. They do. And I want to give you scale here. So let's move everything aside for a second. So we have the original Nano, the rugged Nano, uh, SanDisk. Uh, this is a two terabyte drive as well. But again, it does not have the IP67 rating uh, and the speed on this drive, 550 megs. So it's half the performance uh, of this drive. And this still retails for roughly the same as the Sabrent. So, you know, anywhere from 250 to $300. So I don't know why you'd ever even consider this. The only reason I ever did was because, well, Sabrent wasn't making products like this yet, or the Nano. Uh, had they been, I would have never even ended up purchasing one of these. But again, this is just for scale purposes. Then if you step up to Sabrent's regular Rocket uh, Pro drives, we're in this league. So you, you quickly start to see, again, how small these two guys really are. Uh, and then the fact that it's been ruggedized is taking it to a whole nother level. Another thing I want to point out is that Sabrin is also making this enclosure available for those of you that want to put your own drives in it. So you do not need to buy uh, this specific product. Uh, I'll probably throw a link in for that as well, because if you're just if you have a bare drive and you're looking for an IP67 rated enclosure, I mean, Sabrent makes great enclosures. In fact, that's how my relationship began with Sabrent was that I was looking at enclosures, saw that they made, in my opinion, what appeared to be some of the best on the market. Then I experienced them. Then we started working together and uh, everything else is history. So I think the enclosure alone is around 60 US dollars. So again, if you have a drive and just want to throw it in an enclosure that you know has an IP67 rating, that's another great option, but I'm going to test it out, uh, see how it performs, even though I think I know what I'm going to get. And of course, a follow-up video uh, to come. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.